Hello friends, this is Pratima. Welcome to this video. This video is exclusively for teachers. So today's video is spiral curriculum or spiral approach of teaching mathematics. When we say pay attention, this will come again or pay attention this we are going to read again in different class so that is your spiral curriculum so spiral cur curriculum is a course of study in which the students will see the same topic throughout their school careers With each encounter increasing in complexity and reinforcing previous learning, how is it different from mastery teaching? In a mastery teaching, a student develops a thorough comprehension of one topic before moving on to another. What is a spiral approach? The spiral approach presents a given set of topics that repeat from level to level. Each time the material is revisited, more depth is added, linking new concept to the learning that has already taken place previously. Spiral teaching in mathematics. Now the following points we will discuss here. As a math teacher, why should I follow spiral approach? Second is how we learn based from spiral teaching. Third is effect of spiraling in retention. Spiral teaching is most useful in mathematics because most topics in mathematics build up each other with increasing complexity. Examples two dimensional shapes and three dimensional shapes are not the concept of same complexity. So at an age of 7 to 9, we can teach two dimensional shape and after that we can teach the three dimensional shape. Why spiral? Psychologist Herman Ebinghurst did a research on relation between learning, experience and retention. He found that there is a positive relation between learning and experience. The curve is a exponential growth His result shows the relation between the time remembered and how it affects memory and forgetting. When time passes, the materials recedes away from the memory and revisiting of the concept is very much needed before it recedes away completely. 
So the research result of Herman Ewingsas says the speed of forgetting is influenced by difficulties of learning material representation of learning materials present physiological factors so how we can proceed in spiral approach the figure is given here that means we should go back to basics we should go from surface to deep then deeper and deeper then only we can revisit the concept at each step and it can be in the long term memory so spiraling means interleaving distributing spacing and mixing the concepts this is another example from probability here see we started from the concept from below number of elements in a number of elements in sample space then probability of not a probability of a probability of a union b probability of either a union b probability of neither a nor b so this is a very simple example where you can start from simple to complex so we call this spiraling similarly when we teach the complex concept neither a nor b we have to go back to either a or b or again if necessitated we can go back to a union b or we can go to the original fundamental concept which has started the probability so spiral approach is a technique often used in teaching or textbooks where first the basic fact of the subject are learned without worrying about the details then as learning progresses more and more details are introduced while the same time they are related to the basics which are re-emphasized many times to help enter them into the long term memory so our conclusions every step is a spiral curriculum is visiting past every scheme of relating the concept with each other is a spiral revisit before children have revisit key con topics be intelligent about how you revisit the concepts make sure key things are revisited again and again so this is a sample of spiral teaching in mathematics in the lower classes we if we see from below we studied about addition then it has a relation with the multiplication we so while teaching in multiplication we go back to the addition next is we teach fraction addition and decimal addition decimal addition will be uh, we need to revisit the fraction addition and for fraction addition we need to revisit the addition as well as the multiplication then union of sets addition of the complex number is also based on addition addition of factors and the probability 
either or is also a concept of union of set it can be revisited so teacher should understand how much deep i should go so that my students will understand the concept better or they can revisit the concept if they have forgotten it this video is meant for teachers thank you for watching